In this video, I'm going to show you to use Music BL303 in Reaper. Now the BL303 is a free VST synth plugin that we can get to use in Reaper. And it's based on the vintage Roland TB303 that was used in the 90s for acid, house, or trance music. So if we search on the internet, we should wind up on this website. Here's the plugin. Let me go down here and download it for Windows or Mac. And again, it's free. And once it's downloaded and installed, we could open up Reaper. I have a project set up here already. I want to play some synths too, or this synth, the BL303. I've already created a drum track and some pads, and I've already created tracks based on the parts I want to record. I want to record a bass, some bells, and a synth, or a synth lead, or an acid synth lead. Now this track is a bit more modern compared to the TB303 of the 90s. But as you'll see, these sounds still work today. So to use it, I have a track set up here with the input set to MIDI. As we need to trigger it with MIDI, we'll go to the effects on this track. And I'm going to search 303, and it shows up right here, as long as we installed it correctly. Double click it, and it looks like this. And to see what I'm playing, I'll open up the virtual keyboard down here. Let's hear it. Now over here, we can adjust the tuning, which is more useful for modulating it. Then we have the cutoff, which sets the filter cutoff frequency or how bright it'll sound. Then we have the emphasis, which gives a boost to the cutoff frequency, which is similar to a cue in other synths. how peaky it sounds. Then we have the envelope modulation, which will set the modulation amount of the modulation envelope on the filter cutoff. Then we have the decay, which will adjust the decay time of the modulation envelope. And then the accent, which will set the modulation amount that accents notes will have on the cutoff and the volume. So if we play it louder, we'll hear a difference. But for this first sound, I want to make it more subdued and not quite as acidy or peaky. So let's put it back to the default and create a more subdued sound. Bring the cutoff down a bit, the emphasis down a bit. But let's bring up the envelope modulation just a bit to give it some attack. And we'll leave the decay and the accent alone. Now, this bass sound is using the waveform of a sawtooth. We could switch it over here to a square wave to get that type of effect. I'm gonna keep it at sawtooth to sound like this. And with our track into record, we can record our bass part. And again, you can see the notes I'm playing down here in the virtual keyboard. Let's give it a shot. Let's hear it by itself. And together with the pad. And to have it loop to the whole song, 
Let's trim it on this side and this side. So it's exactly four bars. Then I'm going to glue it using the keyboard shortcut on PC. It's Control Shift G. And on Mac, it's Command Shift G, which creates another item, which is exactly this size. So now if we loop it, it'll play through the song perfectly. Let's zoom out to the entire project and trim it. And now it'll play through the whole song based on those four bars. Now let's move on to a bell sound. I already have the plugin on here. Let's put the track into record and it starts off like this. But to make it sound more like a bell, let's switch it to square wave. We'll adjust the cutoff and the emphasis, make it a bit brighter, just the envelope mod and a bit of decay as well. Let's hear that. It's a very square wave bell sound, but we can vary it. This is where this plugin gets very powerful by using parameter modulation. So let's click the cutoff frequency so we can modulate it. Go to the menu and choose parameter modulation, which opens up this dialog, turn on the OFO, and we can adjust the modulation from here. Notice the cutoff is moving. We can adjust the area it moves in, the speed, the strength, or how far it moves, really far or not so far. And now it's here what it sounds like. It adds more movement to the sound as the cutoff is modulated in time. And we can modulate any of the knobs we want. Let's keep it like this for now. Let's make it sound more ethereal by adding some more effects. Let's start off by panning it. We'll search pan. I'm going to choose ping pong pan to vary where it's panned in the stereo field. We can decide how wide it moves or how fast it moves. Let's keep it a bit slower, like this. Now let's add a delay to it. And I'm going to choose delay with tempo ping pong. So it'll pan back and forth. We adjust the width to be wider, like this. It just gives it more movement. And then finally, Let's add a reverb. I'll choose reverbate, make the room a bit bigger, and bring down the wet sound. Let's hear that. I think that gives it more life. So now to record a bell part. Again, we'll trim it and glue it and loop it through the whole song. Let's hear it now. Sounding pretty good. Now let's add one more sound right down here. We'll make this more of a synth that's a bit more aggressive and more typical of a TB303 sound by Roland. Open it back up. We'll keep it at Sawtooth. We're gonna play a very quick part like this. So keep this up here, make this more spitty, or more acid house. Bring up the envelope mod to around here, some decay, and vary it with the accent on the louder notes. And it'll sound like this. It's a bit harsh. Let's add the ethereal plugins we added to the bells to this. 
We'll just drag them and drop them onto here to make it sound like this. Blitz also add some parameter modulation to this. We'll hit the cutoff, parameter modulation, turn on the LFO, and now we can see it's moving. We'll lock it to tempo at about four quarter notes. And let's hear what this sounds like. Let's try recording this part. Take it out of record. We'll trim it again. Glue it. Loop it through the whole song. And we can very easily, on the fly, create an arrangement for the song using three different sounds, all from this one synth, which is the used music BL303, based on the Roland TB303. Let's hear it. So that's pretty much it. That's the used music BL303 in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!